Let me ask you a question. Do people get talent by birth or they develop it with the time? Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Tweck. This is a very important book if you are an actor or entrepreneur and trying to build your brand. The answer to both the question is yes. Most successful people in the world, they were born with the gift, but the amount of effort they have put into their gift has made them above everybody and has made them successful. If you are an actor or entrepreneur or both like I am, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. We post a video every week to help you to build your personal brand. Let us do an experiment. We all know Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, who has thousands of failed attempts before he came up with the winner. Let's imagine him in the initial days of his experiment. Where do you see him? What is he doing? What is he wearing? And if you see anyone around him. So this is the takeaway number one from the book that Edison was not a loner. Whenever we imagine Edison or any other scientist or creative working on their craft, we imagine somebody in a dark room alone, most probably sad and broke. But the truth is Edison had state-of-the-art laboratory, a government grant, and hundreds of people working on his experiment. So success is not a solo trip. It's the result of collaboration after collaboration. Takeaway number two, growth mindset versus fixed mindset. A person with a fixed mindset does not believe in efforts. They believe that intelligence is limited and they never try new things. And even if they try, they stop at the moment when they feel the difficulties because they believe if they're making mistakes in a project, then they are not good at it. On the other hand, for the person with a growth mindset, every opportunity is a chance to become smarter. A person with a fixed mindset try to act smart, even if they don't understand what's happening and what they are doing. And the person with a growth mindset, they accept that they don't know something and try to learn it. Takeaway number three, fear of effort. A person with a fixed mindset, they fear to look stupid and they fear judgment of other people. That's why they all together avoid trying new things and don't do anything and just paralyze in their own head. But on the other hand, a person with a growth mindset, for them, every opportunity is a chance to become smarter. Even if they were not smarter before trying that, they become smarter after going through that process. To add to the argument, recent science experiments have shown that you can rewire your brain to have higher performance regardless of your geographical, racial, educational, or gender boundaries. Takeaway number four. Somebody versus nobody syndrome. I myself have suffered from this syndrome for a long time. We all have dreams and then we are working on those dreams. If we achieve our dreams, then we are somebody. And if we don't, then we are nobody, right? Wrong. Because let's say I have this dream of becoming an Oscar winning actor and producer, but in that process, I'm becoming uh, someone who creates. The book suggests it's more important what you become in the process of achieving your dream to actually achieve your dreams. Your self-worth should not depend on the future goals or past achievements. You are worthy for who you are and then what you are trying for. <laughs> and the irony is only if you try things with full of self-worth and self-esteem, then you'll achieve your goals. Takeaway number five, group thinking. I will think what group will think. A person with a fixed mindset, they don't have any individual point of view so that they can contribute, so that they can contribute to the community. I am huge on building community, developing community and adding value to the community. But if somebody don't have any individual standing and point of view, then they have nothing to, to offer the community. And when somebody don't have anything to offer to the community and they cannot stand out in the community, they eventually resent it person with a growth mindset have their own point of view and always assertively verbalize it. Takeaway number six, medal for defying. Forbes.com says 99% of businesses fail on the first year of their beginning. If this fact scares you to start your own business, then here's another fact. You'll fail 100% of the time you don't try. 
people with a fixed mindset they don't try anything and then happy they have never failed because they have never attempted anything and a person with a growth mindset tries 100 times improve themselves and then course correct whenever needed and then achieve their goals entrepreneurs with a growth mindset understand that skills are learnable and they are the resources for learning for their staff and their teammates managers are the source of learning not the figure of authority and they give feedbacks for the improvement so that people can learn not because they want to criticize someone i found myself on the every pages of this book i had so many aha and duh moments i used to think producers and audience will naturally discover me and, and thank god i stumbled upon this book and it cracked open my mind and cracked open my heart so you too as Murray Forleo says check yourself before you wreck yourself and read this book or listen to the audiobook also there are some other books available on growth mindset like good to great from james colin and start with a why with simon sinek among a lot of other resources that you can find online or at the bookstore near you all the book details are in the description if at this point you are thinking shit i have fixed mindset in this aspect of my life because let's admit you may be kicking ass in your business and career but then you may suck at intimate relationships so check out this book the writer has extensively described the growth mindset and fixed mindset on sports relationship career parenting and learning please like this video if you think this was useful and type growth mindset in the comments if you are ready to work on all the aspects of your life based on the growth mindset and we'll see you next week with more videos on money marketing taxes accounting some boring stuff but then we will try to make it as much entertaining as possible until then you take care of yourself and bye